Yay, it's Saturday. And I'm back. I'm so excited that you guys seem to be very excited about the little project that I'm working on. So, I did a little prep work. I cut out all my little pieces. I used a fray, frayed burlap, um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I used my Tim Holtz Distressor, since I could find it this time. And I cut out all my pieces and distressed them and tore them up and inked them. So now, we're going to put these bad boys together. Um, what am I putting them together with? Is the question. Where is my, there is. Handy dandy scotch quick dry adhesive. Maybe. We had it sitting upside down, so. So I am just going to, and hopefully this all works out the way I have it, you know, in my head, because sometimes that doesn't always work. But. We're going to try it. I'm going to do my best just to line these guys up. Best as I can. And if there's a little white showing, I'm not going to freak out about it like I normally would. I'm just going to keep going and I can add ink and distress more and all that fun stuff later. This doesn't seem to be, I didn't get all the way up to the edge, it doesn't seem. Which, you know what, that's fine. So, I hope you guys are all prepped and ready for tomorrow if you do celebrate Easter. I'm heading over to the aunt and uncle's house tomorrow, that's the game plan. And I hear footsteps, but I can't tell if it's a child or a puppy. I'm really hoping it's not a child. I hope this glue is going to cooperate and stick the way I want it to. Up to my desk. So yeah, I was, we got home after going to our buddy's house and we did the last sarah sarah for the campfire. My uh, buddy of ours does these massive um, bonfires at their house every weekend during the winter. And since it's getting warm out, they're not doing the bonfires anymore because, you know, it's getting into the 90 degrees out here in lovely Arizona. It's getting hot, just hot. So we are done with the campfires for the winter. So we wanted to make sure we went to this one because it's kind of hit or miss whether or not we go, depending on how hubby feels after he gets off of work and if he doesn't work too late. Because we don't get home until 11:30 midnight ish. And, uh, yeah, I went out there. Nobody got injured this time, which was awesome. Gail's doing great. In case I have any newbies, we went to a fire quite a while ago, actually. Now, or it seems like forever ago. And a buddy of ours accidentally fell into the pit. And it was not good. But he's doing so much better now. And apparently there's a new campfire rule that Gail is not allowed near, you know, fire pit anymore. <laughs> Boy. So it's gonna work, right? It'll be kind of cool. Yeah. Once I get them all glued down together. Very excited for this project. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to grab my other glue bottle though. Cause this one is feeling a little empty. 
That's all right. Let me go for as long as we can. I didn't know what the best way was to glue this down, so I hope this works. I'm pretty sure that this will work. And if not, I'll find out. <laughs> so, I didn't do anything like crafty for Easter. I don't know. Like I thought I was gonna, and then Easter's tomorrow, so I'm kind of out of time. Just wasn't feeling it, I guess. Because, see, here's, okay, here's my biggest thing. With the way our schedules have always worked with the holidays, normally Jason and I don't ever get the same holidays off. So one of us is usually working. Well, of course, I haven't been working for the last two years, so it's been nice because I've stayed home and hung out with the kids, but Jason always has to work. So it's it's always been kind of a rush through it and get it over with. So my kids have never really been able to enjoy the holidays. Christmas time, you know, my husband always worked um, the late shift so he could spend the morning with the kids. So we would open up all the presents really quick and then pretty much he would get ready for work and go. Easter, you know, we would both try to work the night shift so kids could do their things and then we would go. So this will be the first year where we're actually going to do like the egg hunt and all that fun stuff. I feel bad because we didn't do like because, again, we've never done, like, the Easter diet, because we've never done an egg hunt before. Never had time for it. We usually, you know, the kids would look for their Easter baskets, and uh, that would be the end of that, because by that time it was time to go to work. So, I'm like, Jason has to work tomorrow, but because we have family out here that we can go spend time with, we're going to go spend time with family and actually enjoy our Easter holiday. So that'll be nice. It'll be a new experience for all of us really. Because I haven't really celebrated a holiday since like I was 10. I think um, so, oh shoot am I even in frame? Man I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry. I hope I was. Kind of looked like I was but I'm not sure. Um, I want to say the last time I spent Christmas, like, before I had kids, of course, it was 10-ish. I think that was the last time I really celebrated Christmas, you know, decorated the tree and the whole nine. But ever since then, I just, holidays aren't really a thing for me. If I celebrate, I'm great, and if I don't, I don't. But now that I have kids, it's like a totally different story. I want to go celebrate them. But we never really had family to celebrate it with, if that makes sense. So, it'll be nice. It will definitely be different. I really wish that Jason was going with us, because... I love hanging out with that side of the family, but I'm, I'm so terrified to drive out there. Every single time I have to drive out there, I'm like white knuckled on the steering wheel. Not that it's like, you know, a five hour drive or anything, but it's a good 45 minutes to an hour and 90% of it's freeway, so that freaks me out. I 
I'm like praying the whole way there. Just get us there safely, get us home safely, and everything will be good. And I'll start breathing once I'm done driving. So. I'm guessing I could have done some of this prep work before I started recording, but I figured since I did so much prep beforehand that if I did any of this prep work, because I don't know what my next step is, um, I wouldn't have a video. So, I didn't want to get too, too far ahead of myself. Get all the little extra papers off the back here. Okay. Oh, sticky, sticky. So did anybody do Easter projects? I'd like to know. Because I want to know what they are, so I can maybe do some next year. I saw a couple little boxes and um, Sonia de Jesus. Man, I love watching that lady's videos. She comes up with the coolest stuff. She has, um, I think they're styrofoam eggs, and you put like sequins on them and seed beads on them. It's just so pretty. But I mean, I, okay, here's what I think my problem is when I'm crafting. It's awesome to make that stuff, but what do you do with it when you're done with it? Like, do you hang it up on something? Because see, here's, I don't really have anywhere to decorate in my house, if that makes sense. Because I'm not really allowed to, per se. And for those of you who remember my, I'm not allowed to have a craft room fiasco, you guys know what I'm talking about, because my manager's like really, really strict with the house that I'm renting. Like, really strict. I'm not allowed to hang up. You know, anything larger than a photo with a picture or a nail for a picture frame, and I'm not allowed to have too many holes in the wall. And if I want to hang up anything in particular, I have to go through them first, take a picture of what I want to hang up, what it would require to hang it up, and then wait for the approval. And it's just, oh, making me really, really, really more excited about buying my own home. I can't wait. I know, like, right now, unfortunately, it's it's just realistically, it's not going to happen anytime soon. And that's okay. But I realize now that I just, I cannot wait to buy my own home. So if my kids bust a hole through a wall, I don't have to freak out as much. Because I don't have to worry about anyone suing me for property damage. Because it's my property. You know what I mean? My kids want to paint a canvas on the wall because they felt like it, they can, because I can just repaint it whenever. I don't have to worry about 90 day inspections and all that fun stuff. See, we never had this before. The houses that we rented before were from buddies of ours, you know, managers that we've worked for and things like that. So they didn't really care. <laughs> Pay your rent on time. That's all they cared about. Because if we didn't pay our rent on time, they knew exactly where we worked. So, you know. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this. I just haven't figured it out yet. I don't know what the easier way is. And I seem to enjoy doing things as complicated as I can. I've always been that way, I guess. Oh, slide back into place, buddy. Back into place. All right. The fun part's going to be trying to glue the last two pieces together, I think. Because I'm going to have to try to hold it all together while it's fanned out. And I was looking at my little white basket, and I think I want to add some pink to it kind of shabby it up a little bit more. I don't know if that's really shabbying it up, but from what I've seen, the white and pink seem to go really, really well together. And I think it'll go well with this paper line. So 
So that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking it. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Oh, getting close to the bottom. Please, 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 please work out the way I have it in my head that you're supposed to work out. Because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to like dust all these little pieces off of here before I stick the glue down. I don't know what I'm going to do if this project goes wrong, guys. I didn't think that far ahead. Sorry, if this is boring for you guys, just fast forward through this part. Probably should have said that at the beginning, but you know. I'm always a little late to the game. Alright. Last piece. Right? Yeah. Ooh, it's double checking. All right. So now, all these fuzzies everywhere. I'm going to take this piece cross my fingers and line it up with the other side. And hopefully it'll fan out the way I want it to. The way I think it's supposed to in my head. Hey, oi, 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 don't, don't be touching the glue now. Well, this isn't going to work. Is it? Are you going to work? <gasps> maybe, maybe. Just had to flex it around a little bit. Okay, now I lost my page. Where am I at? Right here. Alright, no, no, no. Work. Please work. Okay. I'm messing with the pages. I can smash that one together. And then... Yay! It's kind of sort of working the way I want it to. No, wait, why are you? No, don't get stuck. I don't want any pages stuck together. Yay, whoa, 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 man. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just got attacked by a moth. Sorry. <laughs> just like all up in my face. Okay. Yay. Do you guys see it? Dude, dude, we are not, I'm not talking to you. Get away, man. Okay, so this, of course it's not really straight, but that's okay, it stands up. Yay me! I'm excited. I'm going to fan it out. Some pages are closer together than others, and that's okay. Don't freak out. I'm not saying that to any of you, I'm saying that to me because I tend to freak out a lot, really easily. So I'm like, oh man, I screwed it up. It's no good. Toss it. Gotta stop tossing projects. It's like my one, um, this must be where my end is, because it's not as purdy as the other ones. That's alright. Glue's still drying. I'm trying to make sure none of them are stuck together. Okay, so this bad boy is gonna, I'm gonna have to glue like a bead or something up there, because I don't like the way that looks. And this is not. Are you gonna cooperate? Cooperating with me? Stick together, buddy. Stick together. Oh yeah, that's way off. Shoot. 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay. Let's figure out a way to fix it. So that is going to be on top of that. Hey, that's big enough, right? That looks okay. I think so. I hope so. So, when I, I lost my pH, there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up as best as I can without, hopefully without messing it up too much. It's a lot harder to cut it off when it's all together. Just in case you want to snip, slide, okay. Would help if I used my scissors and not my children's school scissors. That explain why my tip wasn't working. There we go. Mm -hmm. Just gonna this off a little bit. That off. We're good there. And yeah, it's not staying together. Stay together, little buddy. Stay together. And just snip this off just a hair. I just stress that, just like I did the first time. And just stress this. And some pretty burlap. And hopefully, by the time we get through fanning this all out, you guys won't even remember where it was at. Yes. I hope. And if you can, don't tell anybody. It'll be our secret. Oh, all right, little buddy, stay there, stay there. Oh, really? You cannot tell me that because I snipped one little piece of paper. Now you're not going to stand up on your own. Stay. You can do it. Stay. There we go. Okay. A little snipping. That wasn't too bad. I only had to snip one. I'm really excited about that. I'm actually really proud. And now, to figure out how I want it to stay, because again, I didn't, I didn't think this part through. I was just very excited. I do know that I saw on, um, and I need to start writing stuff down again because I can't remember her name. Rena Myers. She did a hot air balloon. Did she do a hot air balloon or did she do a card with a hot air balloon? Something to that effect. I honestly don't remember. But she put pearls in between each one so they would be evenly spaced. My problem is, and I want to do that because I want them evenly spaced. My problem is I don't know which size, size beads to use. And again, I didn't think this far ahead because I didn't think I was going to make it this far. So hang out over here, little buddy, and I'm going to reach in front of you, and pull out my little bead drawer, and I think these beads in here will do it, I think. We're going to test the waters and find out. So. Have these ring you're not gonna enough of them is the question. This is the one that's all stuck together, and that one's well, don't do it smaller, so I don't want to use those. I don't want to use the smaller beads. I need to find out if I have enough. I'll grab one of my little containers here, and if I can put that container back, there we go. Without you falling over, I need. Let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. Oh, snap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 28 beads. Stay. I'm going to hope that 
create a group for six. I'm going to hope that this works out the way I need it to. I hope those are big enough or small enough or, you know, the right size. I'm hoping these are going to be the right size because if they're not, wish me luck because I don't know what to do if they're not. So I'm going to go oh, 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 losing the bead, losing the bead. Come here. doesn't give me a lot of room. And I don't want to glue it down and find out that I'm completely wrong. That makes sense at all. I have a feeling I should have added more papers. Hmm. How do I test this without actually gluing it down? Because I highly doubt I'm going to be able to hold this all the way across. <laughs> Just saying. See, that's already taken up so much space. And I, okay, here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that I'm going to glue them down and it's going to end up like that. With an opening over here. Because I won't know how to fix that. So, what do I do? What do I do? See, now I'm doing a project that requires thinking. And this is why I don't do these type of projects, because it makes my head hurt. And I'm not good at eyeballing stuff. I learned that. I am willing to admit that. Can't eyeball it. I'm not good at that. Um, what to do with you, little buddy? I don't know if I have bigger beads. I, I would feel, I think, a little better with bigger beads. I don't know if I have them. Hang on one second, let me go look. Sorry, I had to go grab my bead container. And I see these ones, which are a lot bigger than those ones. Yeah. So let me put these. Oh, okay. It would help if I didn't trap myself in the arm. Okay. So let me put these ones back. Realize that I have a lot of beads in the wrong spot. Come here, little buddy. And apparently, a wood piece that doesn't belong in there. Okay. okay. Alright. So, I feel better about these ones. Why? I don't know. But, I'm going to try them. Okay, we stick out a little bit. Whoa! Blue gun going crazy. Not off. Alright, okay. I 
And I'm okay if this does this part doesn't look as pretty as I would like it to. Because basically what I'm trying to do is space it out so it's even. But I also I can cover this part up with ribbon or lace or something. I just want to make it as even as possible. Which again, remind remember I'm not good at eyeballing. So like that one went too far back. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sorry. I don't know if I'm doing it very well, but I'm attempting. Which I guess is the best that I can do. Is just try. I really liked that idea. I don't know how she did it so darn perfectly. I wish I had the eyeball for this stuff, man. That would make this so much easier. I'm just really not good at eyeballing stuff. Hang on one second, guys. My son is crying. Probably means he's in pain. Hang on one second. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to edit. Otherwise, I would. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I hope I didn't waste too much time. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. My son has this, it's not like, um, I don't know if it would be considered sleepwalking, but he, he'll get up out of bed and then he'll realize he's not in bed anymore and he'll start crying because he's scared because he doesn't know how he got to, you know, where he is. And a lot of times it's because he has to use, you know, he just has to pee in the middle of the night. But my son doesn't like getting woken up, so it ticks him off and... So I just have to redirect him to where he needs to go and explain to him that it's okay that he has to handle his business and then kind of route him back to bed. So I'm so sorry. I don't think he's ever done that on one of the nights where I'm making a video. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like, oh, it's Saturday. I can't do that. You know what I mean? It happens. He's all good now. He's tucked in bed and watching a show, doing his thing. Just freaks me out sometimes because, like, I don't know if it's because he's in pain or, you know, I don't know what's going on. And I know you're not supposed to um, 
Like, you're not supposed to disturb the path of someone who's sleepwalking or, you know, try to wake them up because it can end very violently and they don't realize what they're doing. So, I try, you know, I just talk to him and I wait till he wakes up on his own and then he realizes he's not where he's, he thought he was. And then he'll start talking to me and as soon as he starts talking to me, I know he's okay. You know, I have to ask him like three or four times, Joan, are you awake? Are you okay? Are you awake? Do you know who you're talking to? Things like that. I have a feeling these beads are going to be too small. I just have that feeling. So, I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to add paper in because I don't know how else to fix this. I like the way it's coming out though. Can you guys see that? I like it. I probably should should have put the beads up higher, but that's okay. I likes it so far. Not too bad for not knowing what I'm doing, I think. I'm actually really proud of myself that I'm semi sort of lining them up. I figured it would be all weeble wobbly by now. You gotta do more research on how to this part. I don't know how to stick this on there. Like I have my pieces now. And I just gotta figure out how to put them together. Oh man, sorry guys, my heart's still going. Because I feel so bad because I don't know how to help him. Puppies are frightened. Did anybody see the blood moon this morning? I didn't. I was sleeping. I thought it was tonight, so I was really excited, and everyone's like, oh no, that already happened this morning. I'm like, oh, what? I'm calling false advertisement, because they made it seem like it was happening tonight. Puppies yelling at somebody. Something. Probably yelling at a bird on the fence. My little chihuahuas, they're so yippy. actually really not that bad. Not as bad as my husband thought they were going to be. It looks like I'm going to end up needing a lot more paper. I don't well, I have to admit I'm a little bummed it's not working out the way I want it to, but number one, I don't know how I would have changed it, because I mean, that's only like half the balloon. Snap, I don't know if I'm going to have enough beads to finish this. My phone's yelling at me. I'm just gonna keep going because I don't know what else to do. Can't lie, I'm a little bummed. So this is the problem I have. I get it in my head how it's gonna work, and I want I can't say ten times out of ten, because that's not right. I'll say seven times out of ten. It doesn't come out the way I thought it was gonna because I missed something. Does that make sense? Like, I have a feeling I should have done what those other ladies did with the crisscross of the 
of the balloons because that's a lot. Do you see that? I mean, it looks really cool. I'm really excited about it, but I mean, see, it's gonna, it's gonna, huge gap. That's gonna be a big gap. And it's gonna require a lot more papers to fill in the blanks instead of doing the crisscross and then doing like eight sheets for each section. See, this is why I watch the professionals. What I need to do is watch the professionals and just follow what they do, not try to mix in my own stuff. Because that's where I screw up. <laughs> just got to admit it. My dog's still out there yelling at someone or something. They're very protective of my backyard. Except for the boo the the. the Boods? What is that? The birds that eat their food. They'll share their food with the, the birds. I don't get that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm way... Mm, this one's a little bit lower than the other. That's alright. <sighs> I have to remind myself it's handmade. Mistakes are supposed to be visible. Doesn't mean I have to like it, just means that they're supposed to be visible. So I think I'm going to. That one's not going to fold over so well. I have a feeling that was my ending page for some reason. I don't remember where I got. Ah, yeah! That didn't line up. That's my finger. Not the bead. Okay. So that didn't line up at all, and that hurt like a mojo. Okay. Off the finger. Off. 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 No. Right. Let me fix that. Can I fix that? I'm going to just manipulate my paper because that's what you can do with it. And look. No! Oh, bummer. Don't do it. I was trying to manipulate that one. Don't get angry. Okay, apparently hot glue is not going to work so well on this project like I had hoped. But, I don't think I'm that far off. I don't think. It could be completely wrong. So I kind of want to glue all that together so it kind of stabilizes it a little more, I think. I'm really praying that I don't hit myself in the face with this hot glue gun, because if I do, I'm going to cry. I will totally cry on my YouTube channel if I hit myself in the face with my hot glue gun. Okay. So, I think, but it looks so cool. I'm so excited. Is that bad? I totally goofed. I totally messed it up, and I still have all this to fill in somehow. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm going to cut some more pieces out. Off. Okay. No? All right. I, I love hot glue. It's my best friend, and I use it every chance I can because I love it because it's quick. It's hot as crud, but it's quick. I like quick. I don't like the spider feeling. <laughs> I feel like I walked into a cobweb. Don't like that. It freaks me out. Okay. So, let me get rid of all my little glue pieces here. And, uh, man, I don't think I have enough beads to fix this. Man, oh man, oh man. Wait, all right. You know what? Stop it. I have enough beads to do ouch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more things with this one that's ten, which technically should have gone on to that one. I have any in the wrong spot, please tell me. Any? No? 
Alright. Really? Hmm. It's one o'clock in the morning and apparently I'm getting text messages. Why? I don't know. So let me turn that off. Sorry. That was rude. Not really. Sorry. Sorry if you think it's rude. I'll just go that way. I have these ones, which are the same size, but if I'd have known I was going to run out, I would have alternated them. Hmm. What do I do? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to panic just yet. No time for panic mode. I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to grab a couple more sheets. That'll get me two. That'll get me four. I'm going to try to do ones that have like the background pages. This will get me six. This will get me eight. So let's start there. I can do this without destroying everything. And I'm probably going to have to cut this off here. Not like right this second, but in just a minute. I'm going to trace these out real quick. And I'll try to cut them out with you guys. And, oh, dang it. I knew I forgot something. I didn't grab myself a pencil sharpener. Oh, well. Okay, this, the opposite side of this. Ooh, I feel so messy because I'm just going for it. I usually don't do that. I usually overanalyze everything. Just going, just going. Try to do it quickly. I don't know if eight will be enough, but I'm going to pray. It gets me a whole heck of a lot closer. Because I'd rather have to cover up two pink beads, or, you know, a few pink beads behind a whole bunch of big puppy flowers, than try to have to cover up, like, ten of them, because, boy. And now i got to figure out how I'm going to hold this up. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, then that would be amazing. Because I don't know how I'm going to hold this bad boy up, because I think it's getting too heavy now. I think I got a little ahead of myself doing it this way. I think I wasted way too much paper. Way more than I needed to, but that's all right. I gotta calm myself down, remind myself it's okay. It's a learning adventure. That goes there, this goes here. Bust out the scissors, which are already busted out. And start cutting. So, well, see, now you guys get to see what you missed. Not that you missed a lot. A whole bunch of cutting, a whole bunch of erasing. A whole bunch of distressing. A lot of finger cramping, I can tell you that much. Sorry, I have to hold it, like, really close to my face because I'm kind of sort of blind. I can't see. I was totally not using these scissors for this. This might be why this feels weird. What scissors was I using? I think I was using a glue pair. So worried about perfection right now, not realizing how low. I'm gonna just stress it all in a minute anyway. I'm gonna ink it all up. Grab my glue pair of scissors here. These were the ones I was using. These feel a little bit more normal. Not that they'll make it go any quicker, but I feel like I cut a little bit more at a time when I'm using the bigger ones. And these one aren't these ones are not as heavy as my large um, fabric scissors that I have that I bought specifically for paper cutting. Why? I don't know. I think I got them on sale or something. The lady's like, yeah, these are so sharp. 
you'll never have to sharpen them. I'm like, oh, sweet. Can I use them on paper? She's like, yeah, why not? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. So I bought them. It's like a three pack for like 12 bucks or something. But I like them because they're titanium and I can just wipe them off with a baby wipe. And, you know, if there's any sticky residue or whatever, I just clean them off real quick and they're like brand new. Awesome. Got them from Hancock Fabrics. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. I don't know if they're anywhere else but in Vegas, actually. And now that I think about it, I only know of one in Vegas. So, I don't know. Take that down before I lose those and go into panic mode because I can't find my beads. That would not be good. See, aren't you guys a little glad that I prepped a little bit beforehand? I tried to be a little prepared because I don't know how to do the whole fast forward thing. And I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me do all this for... I don't even know how long it took me to do it. It took a while. Matter of fact, I was talking to Miss Kimmy while cutting these this morning. I need to look up her YouTube channel so you guys can sub to her. She's got some really cool stuff on her channel. But apparently she hasn't done... I, I think her last video was like a month ago. Is it a month ago or something? Two months ago, somewhere in there. She's got some really cool stuff on her though. She made this most amazing witch boot. Oh, so cool. She made a lamp out of it. I want to know how she did it. I would love to learn how to do stuff like that. And like, um, like I want to learn how to do that type of stuff. How to turn things into lights. Or clocks like Linda from Faith Chick 777. The way she just adds clocks, like working clocks and everything. Just amazing. Where do you even find, like where do you find pieces for that? I don't know where to go to go for that. Not that I would know what to do with it if I got it. But I'm just saying. I want to try. I want to try just to try, I think. And if I fail, like I did on this hot air balloon, then I fail. And I'll just keep trying until I fix it. <laughs> okay, so mental note to self. If you guys hear me doing another hot air balloon, and I say I'm going to do it like this again, yell at me. And tell me no. Do the sections, because it's way easier. It'll work out the way it's supposed to. Like I said, the ladies did it, and I should have just followed them. <sighs> oh, well, it is what it is. Anyways, they did sections, which was totally smart, and then added the pieces into it. So we only ended up cutting like eight sheets per section. Which, I mean, now that I think about it, that's about what I did, right? 8 times 4, 32, I did 28. Close enough. I think. I could be wrong. Oh, my finger's cramping. Sections. Gotta do sections next time. I think it'll be way easier than trying to do it the way I did it. I think. I could be wrong. I could be completely way off in that comment. I can't see that line. I hope I cut that right. Oh, oh cross-eyed. Doesn't help when you have a ceiling fan on. And you wear contacts, because it dries them out. Like squinting. So bad. So bad. Trying so hard to focus on what I'm doing, I have no idea what time we're at. But I have a very, very strong feeling we're very close to my hour mark.
last one. Truck along, truck along. I'm going to cut it in half this time. Why I didn't do that from the first place, I don't know. Like I said, I have to make things complicated before I make it easy. It's just how I roll. I was like that at work, too. I always made it my job, like, a thousand times harder until I realized there was an easier way to do it. And then I kicked myself for doing it the hard way the entire time. I'm, you know, I there was that phrase, work uh, smarter, not harder. It was always the opposite of that. It was always work harder, not smarter. I don't know why. But once I figured out what the easier plan was, or the smarter plan, I should say, I worked with it. I ran with it. So it's not like I always worked harder, if that makes sense. I just did when I didn't know what the smarter plan was. This apparently was not the smarter plan. Can you guys tell I'm kicking myself in the butt right now? Because I so totally am. <gasps> four minutes to go. Why I just had to spin that around four times, I don't know. Apparently I think this side's easier to cut than the other. I, I don't know. My fingers feel like they're bleeding. <laughs> Is that bad? It feels bad. Oh, goodness gracious. Beat the clock. All right. <gasps> Do you see that? The indent on my finger. Ouch. Like, that hurts. Can you see it? Eh. I. That's the one that feels like it's bleeding. Okay. No. Be good girl. Put it back. Put it back. No. I'm like in panic mode. <sighs> what do I do next? Okay, so now I'm going to erase my pencil marks, quickly, quickly, moving on. Oh goodness. Now I don't think this part really matters, but I think it matters because I know it's there, so it'll matter to me, because for some reason, under the ink and the, you know, distressing of the papers, I'm for some reason going to know that the pencil marks are still there, so I have to erase them. Is anybody else like that? Is that an OCD thing? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably just a me thing, to be honest. Kind of special. Throwing eraser in my hair. Don't even care right now. Just want to get it done. So I'm really, really hoping you guys come up with some good suggestions. I'm again. I'm gonna try researching YouTube, seeing what I can find on how people held their balloons up. Hopefully, I find somebody who made theirs as heavy as mine. Because if not. screwed. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, get all this stuff. Vacuum all this up later. I don't know what to do if I can't figure out how to hold it up. Okay. Now I'm just going to do this one right here. And I'm going to be done for the night. For anyone who might, maybe, I don't know. I seem to have a lot of new subbies. Hi! I'm so excited. Um, I'm just going to distress the crud out of this, because that's what I do. 
because one swipe is never enough. I have to go over it like a thousand times. I don't know if anybody else does that. And then I'm just gonna ink this up so you guys can see what I did. Because I still wanted a little bit on the white, but not over the top with the white because I don't really like white. White kind of, I don't know, it does not make me happy. So I don't do whites. But I'm okay with a little bit of white. So that's what I did. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And, um, yeah. mess, just mess everywhere. This is what we got so far. An hour to do this. Yep. Cross your fingers and hope I have enough beads to get through this little section right here. I'm hoping this is going to cover it. Hoping. And then we will be off to figure out what I need to do to hold this on top of this. Because I don't want it like on the handle. I don't want it like that. No, not that you can see what I'm doing. I don't want it that way. I want it spaced out. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. So any suggestions, please, please, please feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. Um, I'm going to keep going until I get my balloon completed and then hopefully I should totally have that done before Saturday. Yeah, I'll have that done before Saturday. Um, hopefully by then I will have figured out how to hold the balloon above the box, the basket, basket, not the box. And I'm probably going to do a little bit of pink on this too off camera. Just so you guys are kind of with me step by step. And you know kind of sort of what I'm doing because I don't usually know what I'm doing. So anywho, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. And if you guys made it this far, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through and hanging out with me. Hopefully crafting with me and, you know, talking to me through the screen because that's what I do with all of you. I chit chat with you guys when I'm watching. I'll, you know, you guys will ask a question, I'll answer it while I'm doing something. I may not, I'm really bad about writing in the comments boxes. That's my biggest thing. I'm really bad about doing that and I gotta get better at it. So, anywho, I, uh, thanks again for hanging out with me, crafting with me, watching me totally screw this up. Well, not totally. It's not a complete whack job, right? It's fixable. We're gonna continue to work on it. I will see you guys on Saturday. Maybe before, depends on how the week goes, time my kids go to bed, all that fun stuff. Um, but until then, I hope you guys have a fun and safe day tomorrow for those of you who celebrate. And even for those who don't, you know, you're out and about driving around with all of us crazy people who do. So I hope, I hope that you guys all have a safe, safe holiday tomorrow, an awesome crafty week. I kind of feel the mojo kicking back in after working with this, so... I got a smile on my face today, so that's a good thing. Thank you guys so much for everything. I will see you guys soon. Bye.